I told you before, but I have to tell you again, I have to say congratulations because you just have so much to celebrate right now. I do want to talk a little bit about the pregnancy, if you don't mind. How are you feeling? I feel fine. Um, yeah, I'm not pregnant anymore. Uh, the baby came out, so. Oh, you have the baby? Yeah. Oh my gosh, when you yeah. just announced so, like last month that you were pregnant. Yeah, I did that funny thing where uh, I basically was like four days away from my due date and was like, oh, by the way, pregnant. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Do you have a he name? had a, a daughter named Ida. Ida, is that does that name hold a special significance or anything for you guys? Or did you just love the name? We just love the name. Yeah, yeah. And her middle name is Lupin, which is um, one of our favorite flowers. How are you doing? Are you sleeping? Is this the most exciting time for you right now? Yes, yes and yes. Um, she's a good sleeper, which is really nice. And um, yeah, I can say without a doubt that it is for sure the most meaningful thing <laughs> that has ever happened to me. And I feel really lucky and happy. Yeah. yeah. What was it like to give birth amid a pandemic? I've talked to some people who are like, you wear masks. <laughs> you wear, yeah, I wore a mask. Everything was very safe. I mean, very safe. It was a really, really positive experience for me and Ben, my partner. And strangely, like, um, rather romantic, uh, um, just to see how how sweet and supportive and connected we were. Uh, you know, he was so sweet and supportive towards me and it was a wonderful experience. Oh. Yeah, I mean, as far as a birth can go. You feel like it brought you guys closer together in a way? Oh, I mean, we're already very, very, very close, but I guess you can always get closer and closer when your love is healthy and good. So that's um, that's something that I that I'm grateful for every day. That and, and our, our sweet gal. I love hearing happy stories, especially during this climate. So thank you yeah. for about that. Yeah, <laughs> happy to share. It's it's a genuinely good thing, and and she's a sweet, happy baby. And um, being a mother is such a joy. I, I, yeah, it's so cliche, but I love it. What is it like to see him as a dad? Oh, Ben is the most beautiful at parenting. He is such a good father. And every day we take like a long walk with Ida and he he <laughs> wears her at like in the baby Bjorn thing. And like, if she's a, if she's like making any noise before she goes in there, like the second she goes against his, oh. his body, she's like, <sighs> he loves it. Yeah. Way of, of falling in love with someone. I'm kind of in the same boat as you is that I am also engaged in trying to plan a wedding during all of this. Are you guys wedding planning right now or what does that look like? Our wedding had been planned before the pandemic and then we had to move it. So everything's all in place and there's so much to work with still, even though of course we've, you know, lost the ability to kind of like congregate in any way. I think I spend the time waiting to get married uh, thinking about what I'll say in my vows and being really excited that this is the person that I get to marry. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a great way to, to focus up and spend my time that way. But yeah, we like, you know, we pick the stuff. Welcome to the team. I'd like to scream. Ah! I watched the first four episodes of this series and I got to tell you, the series felt funny, lighthearted, warm. You're no stranger, of course, to animated shows. What to you, I guess, felt different or exciting about this? The comedy of the Great North is is so unique. The voice is just so very special. And I think as a comedian, you're you're always looking for something that's surprising and that isn't reiterative, that that really sort of takes a new space. And um, and so I think our show really does that. And and as you said, it's also, it's really warm um, for a show that takes place in Alaska. Um, it's really <laughs> warm. And I know I am looking for that in the entertainment that I watch these days is mm -hmm. I, I just want something that is going to make me feel good in a way that feels real. Um, and it isn't like a distraction, but that actually is like an alternative to things that feel harder and something that, that really feels real to me.